it's been two and a half months since I've been driving and today is the first day back driving yeah whole bunch of fun that this is gonna be <laughs> I am in the vehicle that I, I like which is DYD but you can certainly tell that uh, I haven't driven it for two and a half months it's an absolute crying shame all that time effort and my own money put into this thing and it's a fucking disgrace it really is look at this for a driver's door look at the fucking state of that shit i mean what the ever loving fuck is that that down there didn't exist when i was driving it the fucking cloth all muddied up and dirty it's just fucking nasty absolutely i know i've got my bags in the way here but you've got the likes of that down there which wasn't there when i had it shit down there People don't deserve good equipment. So this is the way they treat things. <coughs> and I've got more clutter about as well, but that's beside the point. I mean, look at it. Fucking look at all this shit. Filthy. Up the fucking dash. I mean, when, I've, when I had a, a... I used it in the yard last week. And uh, on the passenger seat, and just up that corner there, where the grab rail goes into the, the uh, windscreen post, that plastic cover was down the front of the dashboard, along with the um, night heater blower nozzle on the front there by the chair. That was off. <coughs> also, I might as well go down the other side, and I. <laughs> mess and it was an absolute shit box. Look at this fucking filthy. <laughs> oh well whatever. There is one thing I could say, at least there ain't no panels busted off it like I thought there might have been but that seems okay. <laughs> Not too bad. This is a passenger side. Well that was up there that which is the uh, <coughs> was the OBD cover that was on the floor at the back of the chair as well and that's the heat event thing that was uh, off and I'm like well why not put the fucking things back so my work's cut out I will find out if I'm going to end up keeping this thing though but it's like, why bother? You know what I mean? Why on earth bother? It's unbelievable. The best of it, it's been off the road for a bit as well because it went out to Ireland to get fixed because it was uh, the engine blew up on it. <coughs> it's great, eight. Absolutely fucking fantastic. Uh, what have we got? Ooh. I'm waiting for a driver because I've got to do a trailer change with him. So and I'm at uh, Stafford Services, but I am contemplating on spinning myself around because to get out is going to be a bit of a shit box, so I might spin it round. Mm. Might be the best thing to do, I think. There is one good thing, though. And I'm, at least my cup holders uh, is lasted. That's still there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are some silver linings. Not fucking many, mind you. 
think my, uh, my phone charger broke. I'm gonna take it apart and have a nose. I think there's a wire broke off it somewhere. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so it's uh, a bit dismal at the minute. It seriously needs a good scrubbing. I'll get there. Oh well, I haven't got no stuff with me at the minute, so. But uh, my little sheet will be filled of this cabin condition, tick as appropriate, external damage, no, evidence of smoking, no, <clears throat> interior condition, fucking stupid, fucking crap, wank, absolute bollocks, it's a fucking disgrace, it needs to be fucking sacked off, whoever's been driving, is that the sort of thing I can put down, do you reckon? And then they've also got uh, full of fuel, full of AdBlue. Well, um, there was no one now on that, so. What's the AdBlue got? Mm, could have been. The fuel wasn't there. But, uh, yeah, they've added them too. <coughs> well, the thing is, though, it's uh, a definite fucking mess, and it's such a shame. Such a shame. Oh, well. Typical, just fucking typical. Well, I know one thing though. At least the, uh, the 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 chocolate wrappers and fag packets have been taken out the door pocket. There is that, I suppose. But I just don't know what all that fucking dirt and junk is in there. That mess. I say it was all wiped out and cleaned off. <clears throat> How they've managed to get dirt all up the fucking cloth of the door, I have no idea. It'll definitely need a good wipe down, clean off. It's just... It's wank. It's proper wank. But I am back driving. So, yeah. With our new system. And uh, when I got, got to the gate this morning. And uh, there was a truck stuck at the gate. On the in point and there's a stuck truck stuck at the out point and they just couldn't get in because the fucking gate wouldn't open so then there's a driver in his car says does your registration plate get it and he was like yes yeah. so he pulls in now i says i'll go and try mine so I've, i uh, obviously people are out of the way at that point anyway so now i drive through and clunk <laughs> <laughs> the fucking gate come open so then i parked my car up the security up was locked, so I couldn't get it to lock the gate off. So I stood by the sensor. When it decided to go and close again, I just triggered the sensor just to keep it open and let all the fucking traffic out. So it's not working properly. No. <clears throat> and the excuse is in the office is, well, if they press the buzzer, people will let them in. I'm like, well, not if there's nobody there. You know what I mean? Ah well, teething problems, I suppose. We're all gonna have tea. Yeah, that's that's not a bad cup of coffee, actually. It's fucking better than Costa, that's for sure. That actually tastes like coffee. It's nice. Now, well, <coughs> I will have to fill that out, but I just can't be asked. I don't see the point. I'll be honest with you. You see, if the truth was, if that was actually worth the paper it was printed on, right? What you'd find is that the person who left it in the shithole that it was left in when I actually came out this vehicle to go into the, the, the uh, security hut, they'd have been flogged, wouldn't they? They'd have they'd been told to get it cleaned up. But clearly they haven't because it's a fucking shithole. Absolute fucking shithole. So that is pointless. As a matter of fact, I might even put that down on there and say this fucking check sheet is pointless anyway, as this vehicle was spotless when I came off it fucking two and a half months ago. And it is now an absolute shower of shit. It's like a festering bag of snail poo. I tell you what, the drivers in our company, they don't deserve, don't deserve decent trucks, they really don't. I just wish I could keep this one all the while. 
and the excuse is, oh, we can't allocate them now. We just, we can't, we, we can't, we can't, we can't. There's always, we can't, we can't, we can't. But whenever we say we can't, we can't, you've got to do it, you've got to do it. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm having a moan? Fuck! I've missed this lot. It's great, isn't it? I love moan. It's fucking awesome. Oh, oh damn. Well, I know one thing's for sure. I am going to go now because I want to go and uh, do some fucking fiddling about and I will uh, endeavour to speak to you uh, sometime during this week. And if I get sent anywhere decent, I may even put the fucking cameras back on. So, you know, there's always that to look forward to. I know that you lot are out there and you still keep fucking checking in to see if I've done anything. I know you do and I am very grateful for that. It's, uh, you know, but... I will put this across if you've got this far through this fucking moan and rant. I'm not the type of YouTuber that just puts videos on for the fucking sake of it, okay? If it's something I'm interested in and I want to do it, but it's got nothing to do with lorry driving, I shove it on the other channel. If I'm going to end up doing the same thing over and over again in this lot, then I won't do it. Just to give you a heads up. I'm not like that. Right, I'm going to go and I will uh, speak to you a lot later. So, see you later. Bye.